AMH, or anti-mullerian hormone analyzed from a blood test, is one of the two major parameters that we use to estimate the ovarian capacity or the ovarian reserve of the woman. Basically, the higher the number, the stronger the capacity of the ovaries or of the ovarian reserve should be. Naturally, this number slowly lowers with the advancing age of the woman. The other parameter that uh, we use uh, to estimate the ovarian reserve is so-called AFC, anthro follicle count, or the number of follicles that we see in the ovaries during an ultrasound exam. It should be somewhere between 5 and 11 follicles in each ovary. When it's lower than 5, that usually represents a lower ovarian reserve, and often goes hand in hand with a lower AMH value. This warns us that the capacity is lower, that we'll need to use a higher dose of FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, to wake up these ovaries, to actually make, make them active and to try and make these follicles grow and offer those right and healthy eggs. If you ask experts, top experts from all over the world, they usually say, no AMH value should serve as a disqualifying factor. So even if the AMH is low, you can always try. But you always need to take into account many other things. And that's the age of the patient. That's the number of previous uh, IVF cycles or stimulations. And the result, okay, how many follicles reacted, how many eggs, were one, how many embryos were there, and what quality. All of these things are discussed during the individual consult, and then the recommendation is to base um, on all of these results. Ultimately, the decision is actually for the patient to make, but we always try to play an active role there and give her all the material that she needs to make a well-informed decision.